Welcome back. Let's get things started out there on this Monday morning in a nice view from our sky cam on the roof of the station here in Rhinelander overlooking parts of the area. This is looking off towards the north. Maybe a few thin clouds out there this morning, but otherwise a lot of sunshine being observed. And it's going to be a nice day to be outside. Just grab the sunscreen as you do venture out. Meanwhile, we have clouds across the southern parts of the state moving away. Now a few clouds off toward the west. Overall for today, we'll see a lot of sunshine, maybe a few passing clouds. And it looks to be about it there. Meanwhile, though, area low pressure near parts of Colorado. This is actually our next system that's going to be moving off in our direction. That will give us chances for showers and thunderstorms coming up, especially as we head towards the daytime tomorrow, especially during the morning hours. For now, we're seeing a lot of sunshine out there. We'll keep that going all day long with a few passing clouds. Coming up later on tonight, though, we'll be under a partly cloudy sky. No big deal there. And notice that line of showers and storms developing during the early morning period in parts of Minnesota and Iowa. By around 6, 7 o'clock, that enters our viewing area, and it sticks around during the morning period and the parts of early afternoon with a, little, with a little bit more development possible during the afternoon period. So on and off chances of showers and storms during the afternoon, better opportunities during the morning period. Some of those may linger into the evening before they taper off early Wednesday morning as we then become partly cloudy. More beneficial rainfall on the way nonetheless, so around a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain before we'll all finish up. We're still in drought across some parts of the state, so we'll definitely welcome the rainfall as we continue to work our way the drought. A lot of spots have been removed from the abnormally dry category, but still a few areas abnormally dry or moderate drought. That's what this color is here. That's moderate drought or severe drought in parts of the UP and also in parts of central Wisconsin. So we're working on things. More rainfall definitely being welcomed. Gusty winds, maybe a little bit today, but later on tonight, a parts of tomorrow will be the better opportunities for gusty winds. By tonight, reaching up around 20 miles per hour at times. For tomorrow, reaching up to 35 miles per hour. And those could, those could continue into parts of Tuesday evening evening as well. Temperatures lower 30s. Land of Lace, Mansowish, Water, Stand with Eagle River, upper 30s from Arbor Vida and Rhinelander, lower 40s in Anigo, some more 30s and 40s farther down to the south. Average high temperature is 63 degrees. We'll do lower 70s today, upper 50s Tuesday, middle 60s Wednesday, so we're kind of up and down in the temperature department. Middle 50s again Thursday and back in the lower to middle 60s Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday. And you know what? Decided to dig out the UV index forecast for today because it will be out of seven. That's high. Burn time of simply 30 minutes. We got to think about sunburns now. Hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, shade necessary to avoid a bad sunburn. So for today, lower 70s, lots of sunshine. Still get outside and enjoy it. Maybe go for a hike today or get out in the lake. And a southeast wind getting up to around five to 10 miles per hour at times. Tonight, upper 40s, party cloudy, a little breezy out there. And a southeast wind getting up to around 20 miles per hour at times as well. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven day forecast, showers and thunderstorms Tuesday, especially during the morning hours, but afternoon chances do also exist with highs in the upper 50s, the middle 60s Wednesday, most of the a small chance for rain showers. Thursday and Friday, we're looking dry with a few more rain showers possible Saturday, and then we're looking pretty nice for Mother's Day at this point.